Hi there, and today I've got a question here from Gustavo. And Gustavo asked me the following question, so just bear with me while I run through it quickly. Gustavo says, I've got a possibly confusing or otherwise obscure question. I'm a fat guy at uh, 6 foot and about 15% body fat. Now, 15% body fat isn't a fat guy, but be that as it may, so you might, maybe he's got a bit of a typo running there. But is there a root of thumb to estimate a pace requirement that a man like me uh, needs to run to deplete all of my glycogen during the course of a 4 to a 5 mile run? Now Gustavo, one very important fact is if you're looking at depleting all of your glycogen reserves during the course of a four to a five mile run, you will need to be running at a running pace of what? See, 10 minutes a mile will give you 50 minutes. So you'll be needing to run at a pace of 20 minutes a mile. 20, at now 20 minutes a mile is walking. I can walk a mile in under 20 minutes. And the reason why I'm saying that is in strenuous physical activity, in other words, where you burning slowly glycogen reserves, in other words, you're operating right out at lactate threshold, you need to be running lactate threshold for approximately 90 minutes to deplete your blood and muscle glycogen reserves. So there's no way you're going to be able to do that during the course of a 4 to a 5 mile run. It's absolutely not going to happen. If you're looking at depleting all of your glycogen so that you can then, once you completely bonked on glycogen, move over onto fat burning, that's also definitely not the way to be going about it. What you're wanting to be doing, Gustavo, is maintain your exercise, your training, and personally, if you're overweight, I would say look at the bike rather than running as being your base level your base level training that you're needing to be doing, simply because it's easier to be continuing at a fat burning intensity on the bike than it is at the run, especially if you're overweight. And what I'm saying there is you need to be doing your training at your aerobic threshold level, because at your aerobic threshold level, your body is operating at a prime intensity for fat burning. Yes, you're going to burn some glycogen, but your glycogen is going to be more like the type of spark fuse to get that fat burning furnace uh, running for you. So that's what I'd say, say to you, Gustavo, is depending on where your fitness level is, depending on where your, uh, where your pacing and intensity level is, resting heart rate and all of those type of things, look at what your aerobic threshold level is and do most of your training at that. And if going so slowly to be aerobic is too difficult for you to do by running, then look at cycling as as your your exercise modality to do most of your fat burning. Because the fact of the matter is that it is almost impossible to go aerobically for long enough to completely deplete your, your glycogen reserves while at the same time burning fat, whereas quite easy to be able to do that on a bike. I mean, I've done a 250k mountain bike ride before that's gone over mountain passes and such like, and it's been a 17 hour mountain bike ride. 17 hours on a mountain bike asked me at that, especially at that stage, to do a 17 hour run, um, uninterrupted, not going to happen. At the moment on the running front, I'm training to be able to next summer go up that mountain over there behind me, but that's going to, it's a totally different type of level, taking a vast amount of training to get to work myself up to there, whereas to work myself up to the level to be able to do a 250k bike ride, not that difficult whatsoever, because the bike is load bearing, and therefore it is way easier to be able to maintain the aerobic level that is fat burning. That's my take on the matter, share any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have down below, don't forget Thumbs up if you like this type of content. Thumbs down if not. That way I know what to be putting out in the future. And as regards those 
uh, comments and criticisms that I mentioned that you put down below. That's your way of telling me how to make these videos better for you in the future. And also, share this out amongst all your running friends. And last but by no means least, if you're watching this on YouTube, down below is a big red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that way you stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time.